Welcome back everybody to Grand Tactician to Civil War. I'm Grumpy Grumpa Gaming. And this is episode 21 of our uh, spring 1861 campaign as a confederacy. Uh, I didn't put out a video the last few days because uh, I was down in the uh, Shenandoah Valley uh, doing some battlefield hopping for the weekend. Uh, if you didn't see it, I did put up a short for uh, Confederate Williams gun, which is down at the New Market Museum. A very interesting uh, weapon once you actually get to see it but uh i was planning on doing a longer video but i just don't have the proper equipment for it uh, the video i did take uh, was pretty shaky so i'm just scratching that plan and uh next time i head back down that way or any place that has uh, an interesting item like that uh i'll go ahead and purchase one of those uh things that you attach to the phones i keep them steady whatever they're called i gotta start learning some of this stuff uh besides that uh so we'll be back to uh, hopefully every day be putting out a video for this series until the campaign is ended. So uh, we just fought the Battle of St. Louis Bridge here. And I was discussing moving on up to Illinois, into Illinois and up to Chicago. And I'm going ahead and doing that. I've already started giving orders to the Army of Tennessee to move up here to Springfield. So they should be doing that soon. Even though they're yellow readiness, I'll just let them sit there until they're back in the green. They're moving up the rail, so it shouldn't take them too long to get there. And the extra division that I did have planned to send over here to uh, Hantham's Corps is now going to be transferred to uh, Price's Corps because it's. I think he's going to have a lot of issues here pretty shortly. Uh, that division is one day away from being completely formed up, so it'll probably be another 10, 12 days before they're actually in his army, but that should have plenty of time before all these armies coalesce on him at St. Louis if they choose to do so because they are slowly moving his way. Last signing was April 24th and April 27th but they're moving this way. You know they're going to be. So that division is going to him. Or I may actually just transfer the division that's in Hampton already over to him because that will be faster. Yeah, that's actually what I'll do. He'll get that division. Uh, Wadi's uh, cavalry division is still transferring up to uh, the Florida Militia. Uh, and this siege is slowly ticking over and into our favor. So I don't think it'll be as long as the last one, especially after the cavalry units arrive. So I'm, I'm really not sure where they get the numbers for the firepower effects on these fights, but uh, because with the level 3 siege train, it shouldn't be taking as long as it is, but it is what it is. Out here in the east, I have pulled Longstreet back down to Grafton. I'm going to have them sit here for a couple of days in game and uh, see if they go to retake Pittsburgh. Because these two armies came up from down here in Tennessee. And all the armies that were over here started moving up this road network here. And I don't know where they are right now as I can't see them. So he's going to sit tight there for a few days. Core Carolina is still withdrawing through the mountains. Uh, the house will be done in 21 days. I believe we are going to need it. Uh, Lee is still trying to extricate himself out of that situation. And Corps Potomac still here in Alexandria. I'm going to see if these guys actually like put together a solid front and come at me together. But they keep coming at the armies keep coming at me one at a time, so none of them actually have. So they're still in a retreat phase when the next army hits. So they're not actually like coalesced into a a fighting force at all. So that should cover everything. Oh, I forgot. We uh, flipped over the months at the end of the last episode, so we do have to go over the monthlies. So economy. Uh, rating's still at AAA. Uh, been, mostly because I have not put any money into diplomacy whatsoever. I've been able to stay AAA almost this whole game. Gone down to A a few times, but uh, I think it's the first game I've never gone into uh, the B levels. Our tax revenue decreased by 37 million. That's a little weird. Uh, one hospital is constructed. It's not constructed. It's being built. It's not constructed yet. Uh, total export volume last month was 1 billion against 1.5 coming in. So we are very steadily closing that export volume gap, which is very good. And, ex and the production over the last three months was 178 million, a change of plus 2.2 million, which is good because we were on a downward slide for a long time there. Let's see what they're doing militarily up in the north. 
So they were working on recruitment bounties. And they've also completed civil order, trade warfare, two levels of trade warfare, cavalry form and cavalry form through training manuals and cavalry carbines. Hmm. They've got a lot done. Uh, they recruited another 11,500 men into three brigades, which is formed into another separate army. They don't reinforce the armies they have. They, that's something the devs have to work on. Because they keep performing new armies instead of reinforcing the ones that they do have. Uh, morale of federal armies is currently 82%, which is a change of negative 7 after the uh, most recent battle. And we took down four of their officers. I still don't know if these count as dead or wounded. It only lists three here, but... uh. Colonel Dixon Miles, Colonel William Smith, and Colonel Benjamin Scribner. So those three officers plus one more are out of commission for the time being. Speaking of which, my wounded officers who've been wounded for months now are still not back in action, and I think that might be a save game ever. So I don't think I'm going to be getting those guys back. Okay, that should cover it for right now, and I will be back when I have something to report. All right, looks like two of the Union armies at the top of the valley have decided to come down and uh, take on uh, Longstreet outside of Grafton. I can't believe I couldn't remember the name of that town for a second. And three of the other armies are up here at the last spotting, but they may be down here following these guys. But uh, they're showing 16,000 men and uh, 588 cavalry to my 25,006. So I don't think they're going to take this fight. But... uh. We'll see. I'm going to go uh, load into this and uh, see if they uh, come on against me. Alright, here we are. Battle of Grafton. And what map is this? Okay, it's the Greeley Mountain map. Alright. So we're defending Deweyville. And they are coming in from here. So they're going to use this road. And this road. Don't know which one they're going to come in on, but those are two. Those are the two road options. Johnson here. Single line, long range, no initiative, counter battery. Uh, who's the union coming at us with? Yep. Yeah. Is there a reinforcements on on the field? Yeah, they're on the field. It's General Denver. Okay, so it's Peck and Denver. Neither one are very good officers. So they are taking on Longstreet and Johnston. Let's see here. You guys armed with. Okay, yeah, you guys are pretty well armed. So. We have a natural defensive position here. We've got this nice ridge line along the road. So we'll put these guys here. These guys don't have any... Per They're not getting any training while in camp, which is really starting to annoy the hell out of me. I'd actually be better to probably move forward to there and put the guns up here. Hmm. No, I think I'll leave them back here. This way, uh, kind of mutually support each other. So, Hood, you are going to stay here at Deweyville. Not very good defensive terrain, but you can hold out there for now. And Porterfield... Yeah, we'll have you defend this stream crossing here. Now, let's just pull a little bit back from there. What are you guys armed with? Oh, these guys are musket armed. Uh, you guys go back to town. What do you guys have? Reboard, Springfields, and Reboard. So they're slightly better armed. So you guys come up here. can't range the stream effectively, but they're going to break up as they're coming across, which would be helpful. Okay, they're in 
position there. Artillery. Right, the four batteries. They should all have James rifles at this point. Nope. Thought I got rid of all the 12s. I haven't yet. Okay, so one James. One 12 pounder up here. And one James, one 12 pounder back here. Good. There we go. Horse regiment. I got the two cavalry regiments to play, so I think I'm going to place them here. And dismount these guys. It's got Featherson's Dragoons. That's a requested unit. So they should be fine right here. So I do have a feeling they're going to come marching. I, I do believe they're going to come down this road. And not this road, but I could be very, very wrong. Either way, I could shift the cavalry fast. It's everything else is not going to shift fast. We got Peck. This is the engineers. So and they got to start doing engineer things. So these guys are going to build their own works just to help work on the perk slot. So, I think that should have us covered. I will be back when we have contact with the enemy. Alrighty, they are coming on in a fight. Uh, looks like they are taking the northern route. So, uh, I'm going to leave the cavalry here, but I'm going to start shifting the infantry over. They can support better than over here. They got the better weapons, so it'd be better to have them there. So actually, that'll work out because I can put these guys in the field here and basically have an L shape going on. Just cancel those orders. Ah, damn it! All right, mess those orders up. Went over up. guys are right there so I'll leave the cavalry here just in case and I put the engineers up here I kind of wanted them back here so I could build uh, breastworks up here along this ridge line but uh, I don't think it's going to be necessary if I can hold them off up here we got this nice open field right here to uh, fire into them from so um, I'll be back Alrighty, it's now uh, 1427, and the Union is just now coming into uh, view because they just had to march through some uh, very hilly terrain there, and they are strung out all along the roads. And I was having a problem getting my other division into place because they just didn't want to listen to their orders, but they're moving now from all different directions, it looks like. Yeah, one brigade's going this way, two brigades going this way. They're just kind of all over the place. But they'll get there. You guys should be coming in range of the Yardie. Uh, problem is, I do have them on counter battery right now. So let's switch that over to fire at will. There's all this infantry. That's one brigade's coming into range, and they should be firing at it, even with the counter battery orders. Oh no, you two get the hell over here. 
Long Street, Johnson, get your asses over here. guns why aren't you firing oh he's still waiting for the orders from the friggin corps commander there he is it's only the one brigade visible so far so they really strung themselves out apparently yeah they are all down that road This is not the easiest terrain to march through. There goes his dispatch orders. Speed this up a little bit. There we go. Now, are they coming straight on again like last time? Hmm. Alright, switch over to counter battery. Skirmish. Ah, I didn't turn off the damn uh, initiative on the skirmishers. Oh well. What the hell are they doing? Doing some damage to that brigade, so I'll leave them be. Army is this 38th Army. First battle for this army altogether. Another army that's been around for a year and just hasn't trained their men. Kill that battery. You boys think you're going. It's 
sizes that brigade. Don't you know your men? Should rip it down fairly easily. Up down that brigade. That battery won't be there much longer. I think these guys are still marching so they can't receive their orders fast enough. Make sure everything's quiet back by the cavalry. Oh, hello. What are you boys doing? Alright, you guys need to get the hell out of there. I was not expecting that. They didn't even bother using the road. Close back in the range. And these guys are just taking the weirdest route possible to get to their original orders destination. Press this artillery is still here. Surprised they have not broken. Now I'm taking counter battery. We gotta get on this gun after this gun's gone. There they go. Alright, bring in your skirmishers. I'd say go drag some guns back, but they're right there in front of that infantry. Good, there goes that brigade. And the infantry's moving off, so uh, go steal me some guns. Good, they're taking count of battery now. These guys level up. Alright, they're out of range of him, so you can go back to fire at will. Why is he idle? They should be able to see. Oh, they're just out of range. We'll have him move up. And these guys just walked into the crossfire. <laughs> I mean, they're coming at me piecemeal, which is glorious. I mean, it, I'm taking, like, no casualties because of that. What's going on back here? I oh, still haven't received their orders. They're going to run into that infantry. There's a lot of infantry. There's their dispatch rider.
Main fight's over here, though. If we push these brigades off, we'll be good. You guys get those guns yet? Nope. Have those guns, yep. Get back here. Got some skirmishes to protect them. But bring me back them guns. I want it. Go shoot them. They're ready to break. Get rid of them. Yeah, right I'd like to win, boys. Get away from there. Ah, they broke. All right. Not ready to break anymore. Damn it. Neither of those guys. Get rid of them. I don't want them in my front no more. And they're running. Right, recall. This brigade's gonna get decimated. What's going on back here? Alright. Got my cavalry out of that mess. Oh, can you dismount cavalry and put them in a building, I wonder? Try that. Yeah, it says it's going to build so get him in the building. What is going on there? What the hell just happened there? I did not have those guys selected. I had the cavalry selected, but they're the ones marching back to the buildings. That's some type of glitch right there. Alright, skirmishers. At least I'll be able to put the skirmishers in the building. Just a little bit of extra firepower. I think these guys are just trying to march right around me. If that's the case, I'm going to wipe out what's in front of me. Full advance, go get these a-holes. All the artillery's here. I can break all their artillery. Why well, sit on the defense when you can take the offense? Is that the cavalry charging in? Maybe? No. Why 
I know I gave you orders. Move up. I mean, if they want to give me a chance to take down part of their army, I will take it. Looks like to come here to consolidate for a push, but if I can crack that army before they're in position, won't even have to fight over here. Oh, I guess we don't get one of them into uh, buildings. All right. Let's put you guys there. You guys there. I want to see what's going on out there. No, stay on them. Stay on them. Yeah, this fight will be over before these guys get engaged. Give me all their artillery. soon. Yeah, yeah, it's getting a little smarter. They were trying to get around me. I didn't expect them to come straight up over the mountain, though. These guys are going to be disorganized and exhausted. Put you back up that hill a little bit. And some of you guys. No point in taking extra casualties. Everybody, go bane at someone. There's only one brigade there. Let them feel the futility of their Yankee ways. What the hell, they didn't charge home? There they go. Those you had run to. That's all she wrote. They're going to start withdrawing now. There they go. Turning around. Run away, you blue bellies. Speed this along. It doesn't look like the uh, AI is doing a retreat. They're going to drag us out again. Hell, Smith going. Oh, 
Oh, just haul. Where the hell are you going? Somebody else running around wild? There were some weird orders that went out that I did not give, so I have no idea what the hell's going on with that. I mean, it feels like the AI is getting a little smarter. Even I wouldn't have thought about coming across the mountain to go straight at the objective, but, uh... Maybe it's just having bad pathfinding issues. I don't know. But, uh, we know where this is going. I'm going to cut this out until uh, we come back to the post-battle screen. All right, now that's finally, uh... Yeah, the computer just drugged that out until the very end of nightfall. So, uh... He killed 1,700 infantry, killed the wounded, uh, 100 cavalry, took 35 of their 60 guns for a total of 2,200 of their 19,000 men, and we lost 370. Those are the best odds I've seen so far this campaign. That's a very... And the rest of the army, when we went over that mountain, was not in the fight at all. If they'd sent both armies down that road, could have been a different story. But, uh, they didn't. They just sent basically that division and a half, plus all their artillery. No need to major victories, just... That'll drop the uh, Union Army's morale even more. All right. So they suffered 362 killed and 357 captured. Our casualties are 370 men with uh, 56 killed, 53 missing, and the rest wounded. Captured 984 rifles and 18 guns from the field. Once again, the number of soldiers we sent to the prison camp, the number captured, don't match. Don't know what's going on with that. But, uh... Andersonville is getting very, very crowded. They now have 15,000 men shoved into that camp. <laughs> oh, lordy. It'd be nice if I could see a state-by-state -state breakdown of that. So I did go ahead uh, with what I said I was going to do. Uh, I forgot to mention that. The uh, division that was with Hampton, I have transferred up to uh, Price's Corps because that was only going to take eight days. And it's 20 days for the other division to arrive from uh, Recruitment Command West up to Hampton. It probably would have been like 25 if I sent them up to that uh, army. I forgot how far away they were. They're down here in uh, Galveston, so I have uh, given them transfer orders to come up to Shreveport, which will put them on the river and uh, rail and river lines. So they uh, should be able to move around faster when transferring troops. See how the uh, siege is going. That's a move, but still slowly ticking in our favor. All right, I believe we'll call it an episode here. Fighting in defense of West Virginia there. Uh, if you're a new viewer, returning viewer, and you have not yet subscribed, please think about hitting that subscribe button. If you've been following the series and you're enjoying the content, please hit that like button. And, uh, if you'd also like a unit in one of my armies, uh, please let me know. Uh, name of the unit, uniforms, type of unit, officer, weapons. Uh, officers, weapons, I will oblige if I can. And uh, I will see you all at the next episode.